why are you coding your own app store? Great question. Over the past couple of months, I worked on this app called One Menu, which is a free window manager for the Mac. I published the first version earlier this month, and I received so much amazing feedback here on the channel from you guys, sending me all kinds of ideas for improvements, and also finding some bugs. That made me very excited to work on it and publish new versions, and because of that, I need a way to distribute the updates seamlessly. This video is sponsored by eDraw Max, which is an awesome diagramming tool that I've been using for all my projects. As a developer myself, I have appreciation for the small things like smooth input handling, you know, good state management. They also have a well-organized library of thousands of templates, so it's very easy to get started. Check out the link in the description, it's free and works on all platforms. But why make my own app store? Turns out a window manager needs to use the accessibility API, which is no longer allowed on the app store by Apple, even though it was in the past. So in order to provide basic features like releasing new versions, automatic updates, or even making a premium feature, I kinda need to make my own app store. The plan for today was, after I'm done with work, I can find a nice and cozy coffee shop to get me in the mood for coding, and then I can make some progress on the project. I left some longer sections of coding in this video, so that you can truly appreciate just how slowly I code, and also get a good look into my code base. Oh, by the way, I found a temporary replacement for my mouse, it's not perfect, but I included a small unboxing section at the end. It's kind of growing on me so far, even though it was one of the cheapest options. I hope you enjoyed the vlog, it was a very rainy cold day here in Norway today, so I was really looking forward to warm up inside and get coding.
Oh yeah, thanks. Thank you.